people! Yesterday was the first day of winter. It's 80 degrees outside and this is my Christmas tag. Today I'm going to be doing a Christmas tag. I watched a couple of my favorite mommy YouTubers do this and I was like, oh, what a great idea for people to get to know me like a little bit more. And who doesn't love Christmas and all things Christmassy? So I thought it would be fun to do. So um, there are 17 questions. I printed them out on paper and my kids decided to paint on it. So I'm going to try to read beyond the paint and hopefully it will work. So the first question is, what is your favorite thing about Christmas? Um, everything, pretty much. I, I don't know, I like the way that people act, like the Christmas spirit. Although, as I'm getting older, I don't know if it's because I'm not paying attention as much, but I feel like maybe people aren't as nice these days as they used to be. Maybe that's just me, or maybe I'm becoming the Grinch, which I hope isn't happening. Question number two, what is your least favorite thing about Christmas? Um, everything as well. <laughs> um, when it's over, I, like, just when it's over in general, but my daughter is probably going to miss Alfred, and which I was kind of like up in the air about doing Alfred. We've been doing him for a few years, and this year I'm like so lazy about it. But she gets so excited. It doesn't matter what Alfred is doing. She's always just excited to see him in whatever position he's in. So, like, some nights I'll go to bed and I'll be like, oh, I didn't move him, whatever, and I just go to bed. But then she'll wake up and be like, let's find Alfred, which is our elf, elf on the shelf. And I'll be like, oh, God, like, I didn't move Alfred. And then I'll be like, okay, why don't you go look in the living room? And then I'll set him up, like, in the kitchen just with her toy, like anything, I'll set him up with like mixing bowl and she's like, oh my gosh, look at what Alfred's doing. She thinks it's like the biggest like joke. Like she just thinks it's so funny. So I enjoy that. She's going to miss that. Um, we, I don't know if you've heard of like kind elves, which I think is what they're called. And I, when I can remember, I try to do that with our elf and I just have him, you know, reading like a little card like we went um, looking at Christmas lights one night and I wrote a card from Alfred that was like I can't wait to see Christmas lights with you and drink hot cocoa and another day we did um, let's donate yeah some toys today or like that kind of thing and um, or like bake cookies when you get home from school or whatever it might be just Alfred our elf normally has like a card with like something special that we're going to do that day when I remember to set him up properly. Okay. Oh, I wrote down something about, oh, the least favorite thing about Christmas. Jeez, I'm only on question two. It's like five minutes already. Um, so my least favorite thing about the holidays is that we're so busy. So basically my daughter's birthday is the 27th of November, so around Thanksgiving. So we have Thanksgiving, my youngest daughter's birthday, Eleanor, and then we have um, my wedding anniversary is December 20th, then we have Christmas, and then we have Avelina's birthday is the 27th of December. So it's a very busy time with us. There's a lot going on. And um, so when it's all over, like after the new year, I'm kind of like, oh, like uh, calm just comes over me. And then I'm kind of like, what do I do? Because I'm so used to being busy and doing so many things. And then once the new year comes, I'm like, what, what now? <laughs> Which is fun because this year I'm going to do a marathon. So that's what now. Okay. Question number three, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Hands down for me, it's Home Alone. I love that movie. I tried to watch it with my little one last year and I just thought it was a little inappropriate. She's a little too young. We also love The Grinch, which we, have, we haven't we have watched any Christmas movies this year. She, my um, five-year-old, she likes, um, I forgot what it's called. It's some like cartoon on Netflix with Santa and like something to do with this globe and going back in time. I don't know, whatever. She likes that one. Oh, and Santa Claus is also a good one, like old school good one. What's that one with Arnold Schwarzenegger too? 
something where he like tries to get this action figure toy or like he is the action figure to uh, I don't know he ends up like in this parade that one's really funny too I wouldn't say it's one of my favorites but it's really fun to watch just mostly because of Arnold Schwarzenegger is kind of ridiculous okay number four has it ever snowed on Christmas where you live no well wait <laughs> It has, but I'm a Florida girl, so it obviously doesn't snow in Florida, even though some people are like, oh, it snowed, like, no. Maybe there's a few ice on the ground, like, but it doesn't snow here. Um, I did live in Italy for a few Christmases, and it did snow there, which was really cool because the first snowfall that my husband and I ever, like, experienced was on Christmas, I think it was Christmas Eve, and we were driving, and it just started snowing, and we were like, Oh my goodness, like a white crit. It was a really, really cool experience. Actually, that's not the first. We experienced, was it the next year that we saw snow? Whatever. It snowed for a couple of years where, when we lived in Europe. Okay, number five. What is your favorite Christmas song? Everything. We listen to Christmas music all year long. Like, I love Christmas music and I just add it to my playlists. Like, I don't care. I think it's like fun and uplifting and I always like to listen to it. Um, staple though, staple musicians, I can't just pick one song, sorry, I just can't do that. Um, Michael Buble, anything he sings is magnificent anyway, but his Christmas music is wonderful. And then Pentatonix, like, I've been jamming out to some of their stuff, my kids really, really enjoy it, so, um, they're two of our favorites. And then, like, Christina Aguilera, she's always a good one. Who else is Christmas music? I don't know, those are, those are, like, my fave, fave, faves. Um, what number? Number six, what is your most memorable childhood Christmas memory? So, um, I was trying to think about this. One, I just remember it always being hot on Christmas, like wearing shorts. So that's like a, a memory. And then another one is, I think a, maybe a few days before Christmas, one year, I was young, and I, this is kind of a story, so I'll start at the beginning. I was going to a friend's house. She lived like across the street from me, so I rode my bicycle there, which I totally didn't need to, but, you know, back in the day, you rode your bicycle everywhere. So I rode my bicycle to her house, and um, it didn't have a kickstand. I guess it was an old bicycle. I don't know what happened to it. You know, back then, us kids, we just treated our bikes like whatever. We threw it on the ground. Kickstand probably broke. Anyway, moving along. So I leaned it up against a garbage can. And I went inside her house to play, whatever. Came back outside when we were finished a few hours later to, drive, to ride my bicycle home. And I was like, where's my bicycle? And then I was thinking, oh, maybe my dad picked it up and just brought it back to the house. So I walked back to my house, which took me like 10 seconds. And, and I was like, hey, dad, mom, like, do you have my bicycle? It's not there anymore. And they were like going through the motions, like trying to figure out what happened to my bicycle. Um, it ends up that my bicycle was taken by the lovely sanitation engineers. They took my bicycle, the garbage men took my bicycle because it was propped up against the garbage can. So I guess they thought it was garbage and they took it that day. I can't believe it. So that year for Christmas, it was like a few days later Christmas was and I got a bicycle that year. My sister and I both got new bicycles and I just remember being like over the moon because I probably had to go like a whole week without a bicycle which was probably miserable for me back then. I don't remember but that's like, that was a fun memory. Um, oh, and then also, like, on Christmas Day, an actual memory from Christmas Day, I remember going to, like, my friends' houses, just, like, opening up gifts, eating breakfast with the family, and then, like, running to my friends' houses, like, my neighborhood friends, and being like, what did you get this year? And then telling them everything that I got, and just being so excited about, you know, our gifts and what Santa brought us, and, you know, all the fun involved. So that was, that was always, like, a fun time to, like, you know, share our gifts and play with our toys together so anyway okay number seven what tradition do you look forward to the most hands down like the eating <laughs> the eating aspect of the holidays my absolute favorite baking cookies which when you bake cookies on an average Tuesday people are like you're baking cookies like is it a birthday slash you know whatever you're baking and I'm like no I just like to bake cookies <laughs> it's like an everyday occurrence at our house I love baking I really just love eating the sweets so I have to bake them um, so around the holidays that's like one of my favorite things to bake cookies people don't question you about it so you're good to go anything that has to do with eating cookies baking cookies I also like rum balls those are really really good like a family staple it turns out that like as an adult I'm like you know 
passing them around to my friends. Hey, try these rum balls. They're my absolute favorite. And then they eat them. One of my friends actually was like gagging and had to spit it out. Most people hate rum balls. And I don't use real rum. I use rum extract. But it, the, oh my gosh, they taste so good. And I found a, um, like a healthy alternative. I do date balls and just add a little bit of rum extract to them. Boom! And now I can eat them all, all year long. They're delicious. Okay, moving along, moving along. Number eight. When do you decorate for the holidays? As early as possible. Since I had my Eleanor, she just turned two, so I told you her birthday is around Thanksgiving, so we generally wait until her birthday party is over, and then the next day or two, then that's when we decorate for the holidays. We used to decorate um, the day after Thanksgiving, generally. Okay, number nine, is your tree real or fake? It is fake. Um, I know that's like bad for the environment, but we use it every year, so whatever. Um, they're just real trees. We always had a real tree growing up. Every year my parents would go out and it would be like a daily thing, not a daily, and you know, a, a day adventure where we, we would go out and grab a Christmas tree and bring it home. It would be this spectacular thing and then we'd decorate it. But we don't do that. They're really expensive and um, my husband likes the artificial. And it, I have to say it's like super easy too because I don't have to wrap the lights around the tree. It's good. <laughs> it makes life a little easier, but packing it in the attic is a little uh, is a little tough. We wrap it in saran wrap to try to like tighten it up and shove it in the attic. Anyway, number 10, what is your all-time favorite holiday dish that's not a dessert? Not a dessert. <laughs> There's so many good desserts though. Uh, green bean casserole is probably my favorite. Yeah, my favorite. Done. Just, just green bean casserole. Um, where am I? Number 11. What is your all-time favorite holiday dessert? Ooh, everything. <laughs> um, pumpkin dump cake, which I found on Pinterest like four years ago. A holiday staple for us. Although I made it once this year and I like couldn't finish eating the little piece I had. I, I think I've grown like an intolerance to sugar. Like my body doesn't want it anymore, which is ridiculous. Like I love sugar. Please give it to me. Um, oh, what else? Brownie cookies, which is a new thing. There's like um, Ghirardelli chocolate brownies on the back of one of the boxes has like a cookie mix that you can make. They're like covered in powdered sugar. I think they're called like chocolate crinkle cookies or something. Delicious. Woo! They're really, really, really good. And um, of course, rum balls, which I already told you about. I'm obsessed with. Uh, number 12, go-to gift for the hard to shop for. <laughs> I'm having this struggle right now. I still, it's the 23rd. I still have not bought a gift for my dad and um, my husband's grandparents. They, what do you get for people who don't need anything? Or like, you don't know what they need? Or if they need something, it's like, not like gift worthy. I don't know, socks. Everyone needs socks. I guess just get everyone socks. <laughs> you tell me what's, what's one thing that, you know, you give the ungiftable gift for. I have, because I have no idea. I, gift cards. Gift cards are good for everyone. Because you can, you know, generic, they can buy what they want, do it to a store. It's perfect. That's what I got most of my nieces and nephews this year because they're getting so old. I'm like, last year I was like, okay, I got, you know, I had the whole checklist full of exactly what I was going to get them. And this year I was like, gift cards because whatever they want is like a big ticket item. So they can put whatever I give them on a gift card toward their big ticket item and it's they're good to go. Okay. What is the best Christmas gift you've ever received? Um, I, don't, I don't know. That, that one's really, really hard. Probably the bicycle that I just... No, no I don't know. I was like eight or seven. Um, that one's tough. Alex says, my husband, says that I'm really hard to shop for. I'm kind of like Rachel in Friends. He says that I return everything I give him, which I kind of do return. But like, if you're going to buy me something that's expensive and I know I'm not going to use it slash wear it slash you know decorate with it whatever it is I'm gonna return it I love the thought of the gift I'm very thankful but um yeah I return everything and I watched the friends episode like a really long time ago um I recently rewatched it and Rachel like re I guess is the same way she returns everything and that's totally me totally me yeah so Favorite gift I've ever gotten? I don't know. 
don't know. I mean, give me like a gift card, I guess. I guess, it's perfect. Now I know what to get, gift cards. Just period, gift cards. Get them for everyone because they can get exactly what they want, slash need. Okay, wrapping paper or gift bags, number 14. Wrapping paper, right? Like, mm, unless they're like older than gift bags, whatever. But that's part of the fun, especially for little kids, I think, like wrapping the crap open. R not wrapping, ripping the crap open. Uh, like that's part of the fun for them is you know unwrapping the gifts and you know the anticipation and surprise double wrap them wrap them and then stick them in a gift bag it's like double double the surprise of a gift um yeah i think maybe gift bags are for like sad boring adults <laughs> sad sad boring adults <laughs> people who don't care about you know appearance but even when you get a gift bag you still have to like stuff it with Tissue paper, I will say um, birthday parties, like gift bag all the way, for me anyway, because I have so many gift bags upstairs, it costs me nothing, I don't have to like sit there and wrap them, whatever, anyway, 15, hot cocoa or eggnog, you go Glen Coco, hot cocoa all the way, all the way today, because I hate eggnog. <laughs> My husband loves eggnog, we're dairy free in our house, and this year, I think is the first year that Silk has come out with a dairy-free eggnog, and my husband is obsessed with it. He has literally drank like one quart of eggnog a day because he knows it's not, well, I don't think it's going to be in stores all, like normally, like the rest of the year, right? I wouldn't think it is because regular eggnog isn't, but unless it is, I have no idea. Um, yeah, he's eggnog 1000%, and I love hot chocolate, like... As hot as you can get it. No marshmallows either. I just like to hot chocolate. Who doesn't like chocolate, right? <laughs> What's your favorite? Number 16, who do you spend the holidays with? Um, family and friends, and most importantly, Netflix. <laughs> like, we just like chilling in front of, because you know, whenever, when the day is done, after all the hoot and holler of Christmas and all the eating, you just want to sit down and watch a film with Netflix slash Hulu slash whatever you have and like that's, I think, that's the way to go, right? We love spending time with family though. I love Thanksgiving the most. I know, I don't know if this is like a holiday. Oh, it is a Christmas tag, whatever. I, I love um, Thanksgiving the most because it just brings everyone together, like your family, for like, you know, no reason at all just to eat. Christmas is the same with added gifts, which is just as fun. I, I just love getting around family and spending time with them and getting to know them more and, you know, really establishing like a deeper connection. That's one of my favorite things because at the end of the day, like friends tend to come and go, but family, they're there forever and they're your blood and they're going to be there for you, like hands down, no matter what. And I love my family. So that's who I spend it with. Number 17, last question. Do you make New Year's resolutions? I try to. Last year I did a video on New Year's, on my New Year's resolutions slash goals. Are they the same thing? I asked that in the video and I still don't know. I think they're the same thing, goals and resolutions. Um, and I, I actually like um, did most of them. Like I followed through with most of them, which I'm kind of proud of myself for. Pat on the back. Um, this year I'll of course make the same types of like goals, what I'm striving to do, what I want to be better with, etc. Um, but I, you know, it's hard. It's hard. I think maybe for me it's more of like a monthly thing. <laughs> I need to like consolidate like this is my main focus this month. This is my main focus next month and yada yada. So, um, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. New Year's, I love New Year's because it's like a new time and, you know, you get to start over, which I think is why people really enjoy that. And what I don't like most about New Year's, though, is going to the gym, and it is packed after New Year's. I'm like, really, people? Like, this is going to last three weeks. Like, go home. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but, yeah, the gym after New Year's is so packed, it makes me not want to go to the gym. Other than that, like, it's fantastic, wonderful time. So... Those are all my questions. Thank you so much for watching. If you do YouTube videos, I would love to watch your Christmas tag. Let me know if you make one, slash let me know if you have a channel, and I'll totally check it out. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe. I love you so much. Bye.